Welcome to the Quick Resume CFD Toolbox for MATLAB tutorial number 24. In this tutorial we'll give you a short introduction to the Prandtl Turbulent Kinetic Energy KL model that has recently been implemented in our toolbox. Before we deal with details of the model, let's first discuss the case geometry. Actually that's a pretty simple backward facing step mesh with boundary layer being generated. You already are pretty familiar to that. Let's just have a look at it. Okay, there it goes. The inlet is on the left, the outlet is on the right. Those are all no slip walls. And that's a pretty dense mesh region so that turbulent quantities get resolved there pretty fine. The next procedure is already also familiar. We define fluid as air kinematic viscosity. We initialize solution set maximum residuals level ah, actually let's make it a little bit faster alpha is the under relaxation factor but now let's have a more detailed look at the turbulence model that we implemented here this model belongs to the family of the so-called one equation turbulence models because there is extra turbulent quantity that's called turbulent kinetic energy and it is being advected by the velocity field here and it also undergoes some diffusion and there are extra source terms so this is an additional equation that is being solved in the solver obviously there are extra turbulent quantities such as turbulent viscosity here that's l that's simply distance to the wall c nu is a model constant of course you can calibrate it a little if you wish and s is the contraction of the strain rate tensor sij also, with another quantity that we'll be using is the turbulent intensity. It's pretty common for run simulations to define such. Coming back to the code, we you see that we simply initialize turbulence model with yet another parameter KL. We initialize turbulence intensity 0.04 and we use an extra function that's called initialize turbulent model. We pass geometrical parameters, wall IDs, layers from the boundary layer, the name of the turbulence model, zero is the initial value of velocity and intensity goes here. Okay, now we also define velocity, that's 0.75 meters per second, that translates to Reynolds number 50,000, that's the inlet ID, and there is additional structure turbulent data that keeps the length of the vector at inlet velocity and turbulence intensity. Now let's discuss the main iterative loop of our solver. So the extra thing for turbulent flow simulations is calculating turbulent viscosity, mu t, together with y plus, that is non-dimensional distance to the walls. Obviously it needs the turbulence model and k to find that. That's only for under relaxation. We assemble Navier-Stokes matrix to d as for laminar flows, but we include the turbulent viscosity in the system. There is also stabilization necessary in these calculations. Boundary condition is straightforward here because simply there's inlet on the left and no slip walls elsewhere. That means top and bottom. Outlet is pressure, so it doesn't have to be specified. Standard things, computing residuals, visualizing that, saving for under relaxation and solving the system. And yet another extra function solves equations for K. So that goes for solve turbulence with all those turbulent arguments. Okay, so let's run it. The convergence will last a while. We go on fast forward for that. Okay, so the calculations are finished after 46 steps. Now, let's have a look at the results. 
So the velocity goes first. Yes, so it's really strong in here, 0 0.75. And then we can see that it becomes negative here, that it's simply like a recirculation zone present over here. Turbulence, kinetic energy, turbulence viscosity ratio and intensity. Let's check them out all in one shot. Yes, great. So obviously there is shear layer generated in here. So that's the region of the strongest turbulence. You can see that on kinetic energy, on the turbulence intensity that reaches almost like 25%. And also turbulence viscosity ratio becomes really large. This turbulent viscosity addition to the flow is like over time, thousand times larger than basic viscosity of air. Okay, so this is everything in this tutorial. We hope that you find it useful, that you enjoyed that. If so, please visit our website quickersim.com, subscribe and see you next time.